Okay, I'm going to uh, walk you through this new um, page editor on in WordPress. Um, their name for it is Gutenberg. Um, I didn't quite get the accent on that right, I'm sure. Um, so the idea behind this is that it gives you more of a visual kind of uh, layout editor for the page, and it gives you a lot of these um, kind of plug-and-play options. They call them blocks, and you can add blocks with these little plus icons that kind of appear here. Um, and uh, I guess it's really designed to give um, someone like yourself a little bit more control and um, flexibility with designing pages. Um, it's not the ideal way to code. Um, it adds a little more inline code and a lot of there, there's slightly better ways as far as building a website, but um, they've done a pretty good job of balancing kind of the ease of use for you and uh, keeping things somewhat um, kosher with as from a coding perspective. So um, this is the uh, event production management uh, or end services page and um, the one that we've already set up. I'm just going to kind of show you what I did here and then I'll show you how to start on a new one. Um, I set up the pages here to um, like for a generic page like the about us page or something it will it will automatically add a nice header image here for you or you can use the featured image um, as well to add a custom image here so basically the way that we have it set up on the current site and it'll use the page title to show up here um, but I created a template called no header which you can see here that removes that automatic header so that you can do something like this um, if you want to you know, on some of these other pages if you want to be a little more customized. Um, so this first block here is called a cover block, and it adds this big image or video, which is really cool, um, that kind of goes across the whole page, and then you can add text to it. And so um, I'll show you how what happens when you add one, but basically you've got text here, and then you can also highlight the text and add a link. And you can do a little bit of customization to it, bold, italic. The cool thing is, is that um, you know, anytime you you click on a block, you'll have some tools that show up here. So this is some formatting of how we want the the cover to display, and then also um, some alignment for the fonts. And uh, this is if you want to change the the background image or video that you're using. They also give you the option to change like the overlay colors. So like you could use yellow if you wanted to, and that could look pretty cool. I'm just going to change it back to what we had already, uh, which is black. And then you can change the opacity. So if you want it to be kind of really hidden, you can. If you want it to be, you know, you could turn it all the way down. Or in this case, I, get, I gave it just a little bit of, of an overlay. Um, this next section here is just a heading block. So it's kind of like an orphaned header. And um, you can decide the different H tags that you want to use for this. Um, you can decide how you want it aligned, and then I also added a class intro, um, at which will center it and make it yellow. Um, so you could do that if you want to, or you can leave that off and it'll just be kind of the, the regular um, color. This is just a paragraph block, so just generic text kind of. Um, Uh-oh. He's got moved. Let's put this guy back up. Whoops. Not what I wanted to do either. Um... Actually, I'll just click on this one, and I'm going to move it down. There we go. Whoops. Okay. So this next section is a columns block. You see, if you click on a block and you want to add something new, one of them is columns here. You also got paragraph, heading. Uh, we'll get to this one in a minute. This is the cover that we talked about here. Um, so this is cool because uh, the columns block... Um, is, let me see if I can get it clicked here. There we go. Um, you can see here that it lets me decide how many columns I want. And then within each of the columns, I can add other blocks. So this is just a general image block, this guy here. And this is just a paragraph block. So this is pretty cool um, that it lets us add those columns and kind of automatically formats them for us. Now let me reload this. Whoops, I didn't save here yet. So these are back in the right order. There we go. Um, 
Um, so then I did some CSS, obviously, to make them lay out like this. Um, but uh, you still have the functionality to do that and do more or less than five. Um, this block here is called a media and text block. That's uh, this guy right here. And these are um, really handy because it gives us that image with text side by side. And when you click on it, one of the tools you get is you can determine which side you want the image on and the text. Edit the media. Um, so I just kind of use these for the content going back and forth. Um, I set it up so that basically every other one has that lighter gray background just to kind of separate them. You could also override that, like if you clicked on this block and you wanted to change the background color, you have that option to do that and override what I've put in there as well. And then um, this is another cover, but it, it got converted to HTML because I added an H3 class, which I guess is not um, something that you're able to do with the cover, although I'm going to see if I can customize our setup so we can have h tags in there as opposed to just text. Um, so don't worry about this, I'm going to try and get it converted back to what we had, or um, what we have up here at the top. And then on all these pages, um, this is just going to give you in, like uh, settings for individual blocks if you s select a block. And the document is the document as a whole. Um, so if you needed to edit the permalink, um, setting a featured image. Featured image will be what will show up at the top of the page if you don't have the no header template set up. Um, we don't really need excerpts on these pages. Um, and then you've got the gen you know the SEO settings down here, layout settings, which you probably don't really need to mess with these. Um, so yeah, the rest of that stuff, that's just the, the, the regular WordPress stuff. So I'm going to set up a new page here. Uh, yes. Let's call it. So when you, when you go to set up a page, let me close this down. Okay. We got title. I'm just going to call it test page. Um, you could add featured image if you want. I'm going to set up the no header. And then I can add blocks. So if I wanted to add one of those big covers, here's the cover. I can upload new media, or I can just go to my media library and use something that I already have. So I'm going to select an image. This becomes my background image. I can write a title, test title. I could write some content. I could add a link and then highlight it and put whatever link I want in there. Okay. Um, I can change the background color and opacity, which we talked about before. So let's say I wanted to do that. That's kind of cool. Um, I can add another block below that. I can add like a heading, test heading. And if I want to make it an H2 alignment, if I wanted to add that intro class so it matches the other landing page, do that. Um, can add some, whoops, not what we wanted to do. Can add a paragraph, add some content, whatever I want there. Um, can also add one of those media and text. So again, can go to my library, I can upload something or select from what we have here. This is the title. And then I can add more content. I can add a link. That, go up here so you got all your tools up here I can make that a link if I want if I want this to be centered you kind of got all these tools here color settings if I want to make the text color green and the background color orange lots of options um, you may not want to mess with this stuff too much because a lot of this a lot of this stuff is formatted with the CSS so that it's matching and consistent, but um, you do have all of those options there. And then if I hit publish, um, so here's our test page that we set up. Not too bad. Obviously this looks ugly, but you get the idea. So hopefully that gets you going and you can go in and create some of these pages if you want. Um, get started on them and uh, let me know if any questions come up. Um, if anything doesn't make sense, hopefully this is helpful. 
All right.